The Gray Area of Confession's Absolution Naive adults wonder how four siblings from 10 to 15 could never smile nor laugh, only scowl or frown. A lion's pack they were, savagely hungry for meat. Withering away their flesh to bones, they are homeless, running the streets. They take lessons from adult hobos, jumping trains, finding underpasses to shelter from the cold rain. They have learned how to numb pain. They watch stray dogs to see where they go to get their feed. When the dogs leave, they eat the scraps of scraps. Hard they are, from infancy to present age of scars. No one listened to their cries when they were able to shed tears. Spoiled white rich kids, Mr. and Mrs. Peterson's bunch. How these multi-million dollar parents actually left. Invisible scars of punch. Paying schools off with hefty donations led to each child's passing in grade. Try as they might the four to break all the rules. Classmates thought they were fierce and cool. A day came when they overheard their adults talking about sending them off to four separate boarding schools. Their parents no longer wanted to handle their offspring's mischievous ways. Not due to green of cost. Oh, they could pay. It's amazing the way heads turn and sins are covered in a bed of cash. But due to the oldest being 15, it was getting harder to keep him silent, knowing the rest were soon to follow. At church on Sundays, the priest would say it's confession time to the congregation. Yet, for some reason, he could never look the Petersons in the eyes. Pastor's own soul became tormented, cried. Father Patrick knew from confessional booth ears some of what the four had been through, but he was not allowed to report it. That which was in tad bit of brief confessed was between the confessor, father, and God absolution. On foot, In broad of day, the siblings left. People thought they were once again skipping class, playing hooky. Their neglectful non-guardians came up with a plan to let the people in their town think they sent their offsprings away. As their absence, they twistedly saw as a freeing. Happy they were, their rugrats are fleeing. Never even reported to the police, no one was on alert or looking for them to be found. No one knew they were lost, lost runaways, like animals now strays. The four travel on from city to town, always on the move, stay out of shelters, sleep during daylight, stay awake at night. It's safer that way. They look to the heavens, seeds of hope still in hearts, thankful for one thing. They still have each other. Written by Cat Miles, May 11th, 2023. Thank you for listening to this poem. If you like my work, please subscribe. I'm also on allpoetry.com with the same handle, Cat Seven Corners. This photograph was given permission to me to post on my site. It is by a gentleman named Elliot, and his handle on allpoetry.com is just Elliot Six. His son is the artist to this picture. Take care, everybody, and God bless.